Okay, another way that we can do a cubist project is we could draw something using straight lines and geometric shapes, something really simple, color it in, and then cut it up and move it around. That's another way that Picasso especially created cubism. I'm not sure what I'm drawing here. Maybe I should focus on drawing something. Oh my. I think I'll just do a real simple cat. And you can draw your cat however you want, or you can draw an animal however you want. And you see I'm trying to use straight lines and geometric shapes, but it doesn't have to be totally that way if you don't want to. But mine is. Ooh, what happened to that guy? I don't know. I think I'll make stripes on my cat. See, I'm trying to do kind of geometric-y things. Ooh, that is one silly-looking cat. I think I'll do this. And I'm using a marker, so I can't change my mind very well. But there's my cat, and now I'm going to color him in. So I'll be back when it's done. I'm back with my kitty cat. As you can see, I kind of like patterns. So I did some patterns on my kitty. And so it's made with geometric shapes and straight lines and just had some fun with it. But the next step is going to be to cut it apart. And then I'm going to put it back together again in a weird way. Because sometimes that's what Picasso and George Brock did. They took things apart and they put it back together again in a strange way. So let me get my scissors. Got my scissors. I'm gonna cut these pieces up and I don't have to be totally exact, but first, um, I think I'll cut up. I'll cut things apart. Oh, I did cut his tail. You notice I, I'm not being totally exact. Um, I am. I am leaving some of the white paper on because I can't cut around those little things. That's not a big deal. We'll see how it goes. You can decide how exact you want to be with cutting yours apart. And I've got legs. I can keep them together, all the way together, or I could cut them all the way apart. I'm going to start with kind of keeping them together and we'll see if I want to make them different after that. But you got to start somewhere. And guess what? Artists can change their mind anytime they want because it's called being creative. You can come up with ideas. All right, so now I have to put it back together in a strange way. I'm going to even turn my paper this way. Hmm, interesting. So then I would just take my glue stick or my glue and I would glue it back down and there's my cubist cat. Kind of fun.